joining me uh, today. First webcast of the new year. This is Brett Owens from Cormetta, our CEO and co-founder. Uh, going to take you on a 10-minute tour here. So I'm actually going to walk you through the categorization of some of my time that I captured for yesterday. I'll show you some of the tips and tricks to help you uh, get the most out of Cormetta in terms of capturing uh, as much time uh, as uh, possible and then also easing uh, the, the bucketing of that time uh, to the appropriate uh, client, project, matter, wherever that's going. Uh, so we'll talk about email time, we'll talk about mobile, we'll talk about integrations, getting that time out to a third party system. Uh, I'm happy to save time for your questions at the end. What I'm just gonna do is motor on for 10 minutes here, uh, go at a fast pace. I am recording the session, so if you wanna revisit after. Uh, but I will just kinda plow ahead, and then uh, at the uh, very end, we'll take your questions. I'll also show you how to get set up with uh, one, uh, one on one training as well that'll go into more detail uh, than I'm going through here and be specific to your uh, your own setup. Uh, with that, let's take a look at my setup. So here's my time uh, that I captured yesterday. So you can see uh, uh, I've got it broken down here by application and then what was I doing within that application. So I spent a lot of time within Microsoft Word working on certain documents. Um, I also have uh, some website time in here. I have some email time like many of you have. Uh, this is uh, showing me then what I was doing within an application and then I was what I was doing within um, that application and for how long. So for example, for each email that I touched, I've got the subject line of the email, the to and the from, and then the time spent on that email is over on the right. So I could uh, bucket the time that I spent talking to Michael here I could go ahead and bucket this to an appropriate client and project um, and then get it to a, uh, a timesheet. So I'm going to show you how to do that uh, in about a minute or uh, two here. Let's talk about where this time all comes from. So this is my timeline. My timeline is basically a play-by-play -play of everything that I did throughout the day. So literally for every single minute that I'm working, um, uh, Chrometa's passive time tracker is taking a look and noting what I'm doing for each minute. If I work on something for a few minutes consecutively, uh, it will note that as well. So you can see that I started my work day yesterday around 8.52 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, start bouncing around here and then you can see uh, as I get into things Word document here so more of a consecutive activity 15 minutes. I also have mobile time so text messages and such phone calls so as those are coming in maybe on different devices I've got those captured here as well. Uh, so then what we're doing is, is on that summary screen that we started off at, this is where we're uh, categorizing all uh, of that time and then we're also summing it up. So the total amount of time spent on each activity on a given email, on a document, uh, on a phone call, on a text message, that's all going to come in here. So let me walk you through that categorization uh, of some of this time. So let's look at that email that we were looking at on the start. So just a three minute email here. Sometimes these uh, um, are uh, uh, more trouble than they're worth to record your time, as you know, because it takes you a couple minutes to send out the email. You don't really want to spend a couple minutes recording that time. So let's talk about ways that we can do that quickly. So we've got the uh, information uh, bucketed, uh, captured here. Now what I'm gonna do is bucket that to a project. So what I'm doing is I'm highlighting the uh, email line and I'm just gonna select uh, a uh, client and project that I want to move this to. So for example, I wanna categorize uh, this line item here to uh, the project that I selected. I will also give it uh, an annotation what this uh, annotation is going to be is what shows up on my timesheet for this entry. So it was a three minute email. Uh, as I categorize it, I've got a rounding setting up to six minutes. So what it's doing, bumping it down to my timesheet, rounding it up to the six minute increment. It put my annotation on here. So it turned it from computer speak into plain English, uh, plain human English, uh, which is the annotation that I gave. I still have the original computer activity in here and the original time, uh, but now I've sort of transformed that into uh, something that uh, makes some degree of sense here uh, in terms of uh, getting it to a timesheet, getting it onto an invoice. Um, there are ways that I can automate that process. So let me get back to another email here. You can see I've spent some time emailing uh, with Jonathan. This was a two minute activity. So what I can also do is, so let's say every time I uh, talk with Jonathan, it, it want, I want to go to this project, this client, this project. 
Um, what I can do instead of just moving it once is I'm going to use the second mouse over here, which is to create a rule. And what I'm going to do within here is I'm going to say that um, every time I email with uh, either Kevin or Jonathan, they're at the same company. So let me just bucket their domain. So I'm going to say anytime that I talk to these guys, so I'm telling Chromatta, anytime you see something from their domain, so at bnkinvest.com, what I want you to do is always move this to a certain uh, project. So I'm always going to move it here. I could also assign a task if I want to. I could also, also always give it an annotation if I want to. I can uh, run this rule over past entries as well. Um, and what this is going to do is just have Chromatta sweep all those past entries. Uh, I can do a little preview of it to see the uh, some of the some of the recent entries that would be categorized if I do create this rule, and then I hit that categorize and create a rule button. And what's it, it's then going to do exactly that? It's going to bucket those previous entries, uh, bump them all into that bucket that uh, I've uh, specified here. All right, so that's a way to speed up the categorization. You can also create rules from the rules tab here, so you can create them from scratch. So I could say I could just create a rule and uh, put in any keyword. So anytime we see this keyword, it's going to get bucketed to uh, that client, that project. Uh, mobile time, same idea. So I've got some text messages here. I've got some for today. So I could say that uh, anytime that I text uh, with Tom here, what I want to do is I want to always move this to, uh, I, I could create a, I'm sorry, I could create a rule on that. So I can say that anytime I text with Tom, I want to move this to a certain uh, client, certain project uh, as well, and then get those auto bucketed. Uh, where's all the time going? So we're going to send it out to a third party system. So from our uh, integrations tab, we'll show you uh, who we uh, do connect up with. So kind of who's who in the accounting, project management, practice management spaces. Uh, what you'll do is, for example, if you're a Clio user, you'll want to connect up uh, your account uh, with ours here. And then what you'll do is you will have your list of um, clients and projects listed here. So I can import my client and project list um, from Clio, from Cosmolex, which is a new integration here. Uh, what this is going to do for you is going to give you um, this list so it could be held in, in that other system. So within Clio, within Cosmolex, within QuickBooks Online, you can use that as the source of your client and project list and then you'll be able to sync those up, bring those in. That's where back to our summary screen. Uh, you can then assign the time under the move to project uh, drop down. You now have these available, and then you can send them back across as you create your timesheet. So, for example, for the, that time entry that I created yesterday, I now have an export available where I can send that across one at a time, or I can do my entire uh, uh, day or an entire week's worth of time and then send those across here. All right, let's talk a couple shortcuts and then I will open it up for questions. So if you do have anything specific you'd like to see, uh, go ahead and start thinking about that. Uh, you can type that into that GoToWebinar uh, panel at any time. I'll get into your questions uh, in about uh, uh, one or two minutes here. So I'll show you a couple shortcuts. So from the timeline here, as you can see, so again, yesterday I started working at 8.52 a.m. Let's say everything up until uh, this point here is all the same activity. One shortcut that uh, uh, I like to show people is the ability to basically sweep all of a uh, bunch of consecutive entries at once all in the same product. So what, how we can do this is just by left clicking the topmost entry and then I will hold down the shift key on my keyboard while I select the bottommost entry and then I can move this all to a certain project. So I can say I want to move this all to uh, Project Forbes. I could also give this the same uh, annotation so I could say that I'm uh, preparing something for Kevin save this and what I did is I bucketed all this time at once and then I also changed the annotation on all of these entries here. So now on the summary screen I have uh, one consecutive entry that's also been rounded so these are all the little entries that I swept in but uh, on the top level here you can see I've got a 42 minute entry from all of those um, individual tasks. I can now export those out to a system if I would like to do that. So it's kind of a nice little shortcut um, for you. Also from the timeline then if you also want to highlight uncategorized entries you can do that just by clicking here. So we do have people who like to uh, make use of this or you can hide stuff that's been categorized. So if, if you really want to look down in the minute, this is a nice view for you to take advantage of as well.
Okay, and now I will get into questions. So let me show you how to get additional support here. So we do phone, email, live chat uh, six days a week, Sunday through Friday. That includes holidays as well. So we'll have folks on Martin Luther King Day, President's Day, and such. Uh, again, starting every week on Sunday. Uh, we do offer complimentary one-on-one -on -one training. So if you'd like to take advantage of that, here is a link that you can use. And I'll put this in the, in the, in the chat window here for you. So you can uh, take advantage of this if you would like. Uh, just uh, use the little scheduling app to schedule a time um, here that works for you. Uh, select a few times, and then we'll get you scheduled there. Um, so it looks like we're good on questions today. So I thank everyone for joining. Uh, again, if you do think of anything, let us know. Uh, one question coming in. Use Alter Tax and Creative Solutions for tax and accounting while I'll be able to capture specific clients while I'm in those applications. That's something that... Um, We'll have to test out in general. We should be able to capture the title window that's displayed from those applications, um, but it's something that you'll want to test out. So if you do want to uh, give it a whirl, uh, we have a 30 day free trial that you can uh, sign up for from our homepage and then just kind of open up those applications and see what's captured. Um, in general, we will, but every, every application is different. So if it's, a, it's, it's an older uh, solution, um, depends what they're showing in that window title. So we'd invite you to, to kind of try that 30 day trial and uh, see there and you can let us know uh, how that's looking for you. All right, so it looks like we're good for today. So everyone have a great rest of your Thursday. Thank you for joining me today. Um, and one more question. Uh, Kermit is not asking me to be picking up the second doc when I have more than one doc open in Word. Um, so for Word, we're going to pick up the where, wherever the active focus is. So we will never double count time. It will be wh wherever your active focus is. So if I have a Word document here, uh, the title of this is unsaved. So the title of this is going to be document one. So if I save this as a test document, this is what is now going to be captured. Um, if I open another doc, if I start a new document, this is now what's captured. Let me move this over. So it will never uh, double count one and two. It will always toggle between as I toggle between. So it's not going to double count uh, per document open, uh, just whatever is open. But it's only going to get the name. So you do want to make sure that you save it before um, uh, you kind of do anything so that we've got something that we can capture there. Okay, and then if you're looking for uh, to call, so we've got uh, phone, email, uh, so phone a number is here. So for support, you can call 888-340-6425, uh, extension 4. And uh, also take, I would also encourage you to maybe take advantage of that one-on-one uh, 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 -on -one training session too, because that's a phone and, and web meeting uh, one. So that can uh, um, kind of help you out from that perspective as well. Okay, and then again on the number 888-340-6425, and then that's going to be extension 4. Okay. All right, good. So thanks for the questions. Thanks for joining, everyone. Hope it was helpful today. Uh, stay in touch and hope to talk to you soon.